On September 12th and November 7th of last year, I sent letters to the State Department asking for records about coronavirus research that had been funded by the State Department. The State Department refused to comply. When Assistant Secretary Sherman came, I asked her the same question. She didn't seem to be aware that you had been funding coronavirus research, but you are. And I got the I'll get back to you line. A couple weeks later, I met personally with you at the State Department and asked you the same question. Will you not divulge to us the records of the State Department's support for coronavirus research, particularly in China? You assured me you would help. We communicated several times over the phone with another assistant secretary of state uh, who finally sent us a letter and said, no, we're not going to give you anything. So that's where we stand. And it's, uh, my question is, what's the State Department hiding? Why won't you give these records to the American people? Uh, Senator, thank you. And uh, yes, I appreciated uh, uh, you raising this when we saw each other uh, a month or so ago. Uh, and my understanding is that our teams have been working to find an accommodation. Uh, there's longstanding. We've got a refusal, blanket refusal. No, they are not going to give us records. Um, we cannot directly provide uh, the sure you can. Unredact unredacted cables. We have a longstanding practice with this committee. Uh, about how we do you're things. Refusing, but, you're refusing to release them. No, but it's not I think, that you can't. There's a difference between can and may. You uh, won't do it, but you can do it. My hope is that we can find a, a way forward that answers your concerns so that you get the information that you're looking for. My understanding is that uh, our team's been working on that, and I uh, commit to continue to do that so we can get you the... the uh, We're talking about unclassified material. Most of this is unclassified. And so we just had a unanimous vote in the Senate and in the House and President Biden just signed a, a, a bill saying he's going to declassify stuff. But if you declassify it and you still hide it from the American people, that's a problem. I mean, we spend all of this time lambasting authoritarians and for lack of transparency. We have these silly networks on TV that are aligned with the Democrat Party saying democracy is under attack. What well, do you think transparency has something to do with democracy? You're refusing to give records on research. Money that went for research. We want to read the research grant proposals. We want to read what the people in Wuhan sent back to the State Department saying they did. Which viruses did they create? Because the thing is, is it sounds all great. We're going to identify all the viruses of the world. But part of what they do is they take a virus they found 200 feet down in a cave, and they mix it with another virus to create a virus that doesn't exist in nature because they say that's how we're going to further identify it. There's a big debate that should be had whether that's safe to take a virus from 100 feet down a bat cave 12 hours south of Wuhan and take it to a city of 10 million. Yep. And yet you won't help us investigate this. You refuse, and it makes it is reminiscent of the countries we criticize for lack of transparency, and yet you sit there and say you're still going to continue to refuse. Um, Senator, I think there are very important uh, debates that certainly go beyond my knowledge and expertise, for example, on gain of function, um, that uh, I know there's a, a vigorous debate about whether the risk um, outweighs the reward. I don't have the expertise uh, but, you know that? And but how do we have oversight or investigate so, it if you won't give us so a record? We, so the uh, program that, uh, in this instance, USAID was involved in was not engaged in gain-of-function uh, work or gain That's of a debate. But and, and that's your opinion. We'd like to see the records. So Fauci says there was no gain-of-function in Wuhan, and nobody believes him anymore. You know, again, there's, a, there's a, I think, an important debate about this. Um, as I recall, during the uh, Obama administration, there's actually a moratorium put on. I know, but it isn't the debate. I don't want to have that debate with yeah. you. I only want to have Again, the. Yeah, I believe that we can find a way to get you the information that you're looking All for. All right, but, but the last the last response we have from you is no. So the American public needs to know. I've asked many, many times. I've asked you in person. This is a second time in person. I've talked to two assistant secretaries of state, and the writing we get back from you is no, not maybe, not we'll work with you. It's no. So, so that's Senator, where we are now. No, uh, and it's not, it's not no, just to be clear. We did reach back out to your team just as recently as this week to offer to provide all of that information in briefing form, which is to say... Uh, which means you get to read it and interpret it and spin it, and we get to hear your spin. We don't want to hear your spin. We're, we want to look at the dog. We're talking we're about not grant. In, we're not in, we're, not we're talking about grant proposals. You ask as you act as if we're talking about the secrets of the Manhattan Project. We're talking about grant proposals, and we're talking about grant updates where someone has to write in and say, "Oh, we did this experiment, and this experiment, and we got this result." That's what we're talking about. Same thing from NIH. Same thing from HHS. 
Everybody's hiding it. And it's not even really something to protect the Biden administration. Most of this stuff happened in the previous administration. But I, I don't get it. Why circle the wagons? Maybe there's nothing to see here. But then it makes the whole world think you're hiding something if you won't give it to us. Yeah, so code. just give it to us. It's a bunch of bureaucratic paper that we're looking to sift through to see if there are any clues. Because one of the biggest clues we have that they did this is they asked DARPA, and we only know this through a whistleblower, they asked DARPA for money to take a coronavirus and put a furin cleavage site in it to make it more infectious. And lo and behold, that's what COVID-19 is. It looks just like what they said they wanted to create with our money. And we turned them down, but that doesn't mean they didn't do the research. We're looking for research like that, that they were performing. We're looking for something that may be in their notes that hasn't been public, that hasn't been sifted through. But what we feel is that people at State Department and at NIH and HHS are conflicted. Why? Because if you funded research that somehow is linked to the pandemic or a leakage of that, that doesn't look so good for the people who London it. So we see this as a circling of the wagons and a conflict of interest that maybe there are people within the State Department who funded research who are worried that it might be linked to the pandemic. But we can't just accept your spin on it because people there may be self-interested, the people who funded the program. We're just asking to look at the data, but so far you're, you're, it has been no. We've had a few phone calls, but we don't want your spin on it. We want to look at the documents uh, we, ourselves. Uh, we're, we're not providing spin. As I said, I believe we can provide the information you're looking for. We have longstanding practices and procedures in terms of actually providing documents and cables with this committee uh, that uh, we're not prepared to change. But in terms of getting you the information you're right. looking for, and the only cables we have that are of value we got leaked to us, or actually they were declassified by the Trump administration, those cables said, and these were from some State Department yep. folks, and it was amazing, and I don't actually fault anybody for missing it. I'm sure there are thousands of cables, but in, 19, uh, in 2018 18. or 17, they were sending cables back saying, holy you know what, they're over here working without gloves in unsafe conditions in a BSL-2 that should be a BSL-4, not a very safe condition, and that's why some of our intelligence people have, have leaned towards this coming from a lab. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want to help us? Why wouldn't everybody well, want to help us? I, 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 I've seen those cables. You're right, they've, uh, they've come out, and I think what they said, at least as I read them, was that there were concerns based on uh, State Department Right, officials but we, but we only know those because someone had the gumption to declassify them. And I'll end with this because I know my time's up. Mr. Chairman, it takes one signature. He'll give all this stuff to me tomorrow if you'll sign a document because he says he won't sign it unless the chairman of a committee does it. And he's hiding behind some ruse. There is no law saying this. He could do it if he wants, but he's hiding behind some opinion that his own administration makes the rules to say they won't give it to Congress. But if you'll help me, we can get the information tomorrow. Everything he's saying won't give me, he will give me tomorrow if you'll send a letter. I, uh, I appreciate the Senator's time has expired, but I appreciate uh, your uh, concern. I understand that my committee counsel has spoke to your counsel this past Monday, um, and uh, your counsel followed up with us today, and we are uh, in the pursuit of trying to see how uh, you can be accommodated, and I Thank look you. forward to making that happen. Senator